Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa barik wa salib. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good day I bid to all of the viewers out there. Thank you very much for giving me this golden opportunity to share and present my humble action research which was carried out in 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Madam Haja Aisha Binti Haji Uthman from Form 6 Center, Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Kelali, Kulim Kedah, Darul Aman. I believe all of you are wondering what is Google telling me stands for? It is, it is a blended learning strategy combined with task-based learning to enhance writing and speaking skills among Form 6 students. Now, let us see the abstract of the research. This research was carried out in order to overcome the difficulties of the students in writing a letter of application and curriculumity in accomplishing the 21st century learning strategy, which is simulation learning. This is known as task-based project or mock interview. Ladies and gentlemen, this research was carried out in assessing students to write a letter of application and curriculum using Google search engine, Google Classroom, Telegram application, and mock interview session in discussing, completing, and submitting the project. Let us look at the reflection on the teachers and students. For the teachers, it was difficult for me only to use traditional teaching and learning methodology, which is talk and chalk. My students need the assistance of visual layout in understanding the letter of application and curriculum vitae. While for the students' reflection, on the other hand, they were confused and having troubles to remember the format correctly. They also claim that it was hard to lay out the letter of application and curriculum vitae. My students also mentioned that they had a limited information on the topic discussed. Next, let us go at the research focus, which is the research objectives. Number one is the general objective and number two is the specific objectives. The general objective would be to improve writing and speaking skills, which is blended learning and task-based learning. For the specific objective, ladies and gentlemen, number one, we want to know the learning, the effectiveness of blended learning and task-based learning. Number two, to guide learners to use simulation learning. And number three, to evaluate the effectiveness of blended learning strategy. Ladies and gentlemen, so those are the objectives of the action research. Now, let us look at the targeted group and problem statement. This research was carried out among semester two MUET students. The total number of the students are 20 students, four females and 16 female. And this is my beloved classroom for upper six cohort 2019 and 2020. Now, what is the problem statement of this research? From the teacher's observation and document analysis, we can identify some of the students' weaknesses. Number one, they have a problem with the layout of a formal letter, that is letter of application and curriculum retake. Number two, they're having problems because they have various grammatical errors. Number three, the student have lack of confidence while speaking English language. And last but not least, they are having problem in order to make inferences during the examination and also in real life situation. Ladies and gentlemen, the next slide will show you the implementation and of the intervention activities. This will be divided into five sections. The first one is a classroom observation. Student will write a letter of application and then the teacher will analyze them. 
And the mean for this first observation was 53. Next, student will discover the new information through Google search engine, Google Classroom, and Telegram application, and they were excited and appreciate the valuable process. Ladies and gentlemen, the next step would be the classroom observation, whereby the student will rewrite the letter of application, and the mean for this one is 15, increment, which comes to 71. If you can see from the slides there, the classroom observation, they have to write their own letter of application and they have not been given input. And next, the process of Google search engine, Google Classroom and Telegram will be carried out in order for them to gain more knowledge to complete their assignment. And next, if you can see the classroom observation too, whereby they have created their own layout and creative curriculum vitae in order to involve in the mock interview for the task-based project. Now, for the exit ticket, I already did a survey question or a student voice whereby student answered the survey question and we had 100% of positive feedback. I would like to share with you, ladies and gentlemen, a video of the process. Right now, persecuted. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we at yeah. war. We at yeah. war. Yeah. Look at the scoreboard. 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 W's are yeah. yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. For Can you give me a few words about the situation? Ladies and gentlemen, let us look at the reflection of the research. What are the applications? The implication for the students, the student can manage to write 
a perfect or correct way out. Number two, they can speak confidently, whereby they have gone the process of more interview. They have met the real job person. And next, they can improve their marks in the classroom observation together with the examination question. And last but not least, they have given positive perception and feedback to the teacher. Now, what is the implication to the teachers? For me personally, I had learned better technique of teaching through information communication technology. And this really lead to meaningful and effectiveness teaching strategy. And this is a satisfaction because students did improve. Ladies and gentlemen, what about the implication for teaching and learning? The teaching and learning process was more interactive and communicative. Students and teachers were able to use modern gadgets pre-pandemic situation. Now, the most important thing or the highlight of this action research is that students and teachers enjoy blended learning and task-based learning. Ladies and gentlemen, what are the suggestions for further research? In the future, I would like to go through flip classroom activities, gamification, or hip-hop education because this is the in thing among the G, the Z generation. Not only that, for the lesson, for further research, we should concentrate not only on the examination area but also everyday authentic usage of English language. Ladies and gentlemen, we are teaching the Z generation at the moment. So the usage of smartphones through flip classroom is also very important. Using all of these gadgets, especially during the pandemic, was very useful. Ladies and gentlemen, the further research that I would like to carry out again is the post-pandemic situation whereby we can see the interest of the teachers. Are they going to use the ICT or they will go back to the traditional teaching and uh, learning methodology? This is also to fulfill the VUCA scenario at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope with the insight of my action research, Google Telling Me will enhance the writing and speaking skills among students. Ladies and gentlemen, all the teachers out there, keep work hard and try your best in order to be a better generation. With that, I would like to thank you. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.